Hi folks, I'm Smith with Two Guys Ride. Today, Rob and I are down here in beautiful Des Moines, Iowa, and we're here at the Good Guys Car Show, and we're here with Brian. Brian has this fantastic car behind us. Tell us what year and what it is. It's a 1959 El Camino. And it is absolutely stunning. So, let's, let's start by talking about <laughs> this beautiful motor that you got in here. What, what, what do you have? This is a 454 big block Chevrolet with a uh, Concept One pulley system on it. Okay, and transmission? Uh, transmission is a Tremec five-speed. Okay, so you can get on cruise on the highway. Oh yeah, yeah. No problem at all. Right. Oh man, but I tell you what, now you can order a lot of uh, different engines, but you've got to decorate them. So you yeah, must have the, done some uh, the valve, polishing up and some yeah, covers the, and... The valve covers and the air cleaner are all custom made. You can't buy those, so those okay. are all custom made. But everything else is uh, you can buy off the shelf. Okay, so you just yep. buy them and bolt them on. Yep. It looks really nice, though, and especially against the black. Oh, yeah. I love it that you finished off the engine bay just like the rest of the car because yep. the black and the chrome are absolutely stunning on this car. Yeah. All right. Um, otherwise, everything else in the hood is, is pretty much standard, right? You've just um, changed the, uh, well, you've chromed it. Correct. Everything else under the hood is pretty much standard. Okay. Um, New different radiator? Yes, that is a custom made radiator. Okay. And then you have a transmission cooler in front of that? That's the AC condenser. That's the AC, okay. So you've got a few modern conveniences on the car. Oh yeah, it's got vintage air, yes. All right, that's which, which is very nice, especially on days like today. Yep. Um, brakes? Uh, Wheelwood disc brakes all the way around. Okay, all the way around? Yep. Uh, and then uh, what do you do on tires and rims? The rims are uh, one off from uh, Alloway. Okay. They're Bobby Alloway wheels. Nice. Uh, Billet Specialty makes them for them. Okay. Are the fronts wider than their. Uh, yes. Are, are, are narrower than the front? Yeah, Let me ask that again. <laughs> are the tires the same size, front and back? No, they're 17s in the front, 22s in the rear. Okay. All right. You weren't at the smokeout competition. No, I was no. not. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How much of this did you have to have rechromed? All of it was rechromed. Okay. Yes. Everything was redone. All the stainless was repolished. When you bought it, what shape was it in? The car was actually in good shape. It was uh, it was a forty thousand mile car when I got it. Okay, so a all the miles. yeah all the chrome on the car is original to the car, even the emblems. Okay. Yeah. Now it wasn't this color. No, it was not this color. Was this an original factory color, black? They it did the car came black okay. originally. Okay, so this this would have been like I mean you could have ordered this color combination. Yeah, you could have ordered this color combination. Because the stuff you chromed is stuff that was already chromed, you just had it redone. Correct. Okay. All right. So let's uh, go around the side here. I, I tell you what, this this back end is it's just something else. So you got these beautiful fins. Oh yeah. The sideways coming out, and then I mean, that is just art. Yes, it is. How many times do you pull it out of the garage or sit down in the chair and just look at it? <laughs> well, I have a garage. I can keep it in. I just look at it every day. I go into work. There, there you go. And man, that is just beautiful. Right. The um, any modifications made back here? As far as the body work goes, no, we did not. Pretty standard. We, yes, we did not modify the body any. Yeah. No, the body was too good on this car to do anything to it. And it is a man. The lines on it are just beautiful. Um, exhaust. You, I'm assuming you had to put a new exhaust in. This all custom made exhaust, stainless, okay. stainless exhaust. Okay. And nothing, nothing different in the bed right here itself. You didn't move the fuel tank or. Fuel tank is originally where it was. We have a custom made fuel tank in there from Rick's Okay. Tanks. Yes. Okay. And then, it's um, it's but it just fills from the same. It still fills from the same spot. Okay. All right. Yeah, original emblem right here. Yep. Wow. Oh, man. So this emblem on this particular car doesn't, does it do anything? It does not do anything, but okay. on a station wagon. Okay. That would have been where you rolled the rear window down. Oh, okay, so they just, put an emblem in and not the, the yeah, it's a blank. window. You mean you don't have a window right here? <laughs> I love this the, this look. To me, the car looks like it's in motion standing still. Right. With this overhanging roof. Yeah. What a large window. Yeah. Wow. 
Okay, on the interior, all redone? That's what you did. You're right. All the interior is done back like the 59 Impalas were. Okay. So this is like a factory Impala interior was. Okay. In 59. Man, I, I absolutely love the pod gauges. Yes. That, that to me just... Those are, those are uh, classic, did the gauges in there. Okay. So those are... Uh, those have all been replaced. Yes. But it's the same look. It's the same look. Exact same look. Um, but they are, I just love that. Yep. Um, to me, that's just a fantastic look on a da any dashboard. Um, gear shift lever, that would have been a little different. You would have had, it would have been something on a tree or would have had been on the floor? No, in 59, it had been on the tree. Okay. So then when you put the new engine transmission in, then yeah. you had to put them in the floor. Yes. Okay. And there, and we can see your vintage air. And then you've got a couple other switches, pull-out switches on the left of the steering wheel. What are, what's the first one on the left? That's your lights and okay. your wipers. Okay, Those first, are all factory. Okay. First one's your lights. Second one's your wipers. Mm -hmm. Turn signals. Oh yeah. Those and are turn then, signal tilt wheel. And the tilt wheel. Yeah. Okay. Where was your horn? It's in the middle. Right, right in the off. middle. Yeah. Okay. All right. I love the, uh, the, the color combination on the seats. Right. It's a nice offset to the black and yep. chrome on the outside of the car. So but I mean, it's, it's basically just like it was. It would have been an original in a 59 Impala. Okay. That's the way it's done. But we just put it in leather. Okay. It is very nice. Yep. I, just, I just like that, that you know, I mean, too, too much of a color right. is just too much. And that right. is just a nice way to offset what you have. So what, you know, Brian, what got you into cars in the first place? I've just... Always been in the cars all my life. I mean, I just, you know. Just, Ever since you can remember, you loved yeah. older cars, cars in general. Cars in general. Was your one of your parents into cars? Nope. Nope, not at all? <laughs> nope, nope. Okay. No, nope. I, I grew up in the body shop business. Uh, you grew up somewhere yeah. that if, you, if, if, you, if, if, you're, if you're born there and live there, <laughs> you, you got to be a car guy. So where were you? What, what is the town you actually grew up in? Dawsonville, Georgia. Dawsonville, Georgia. All right. NASCAR. Bill Elliott. And boot, 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 bootleg liquor running. Yep. <laughs> so it, it was in the DNA in the ground before you were born. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, what got you into this car in particular? Well, I've always liked El Caminos, and um, I ran across, I was actually building another car. And uh, I ran across this car at another fella's shop. Okay. And uh, I tried to buy it from him, tried to buy it from him, and it took me about a year. Working on it. <laughs> working on them, and then I finally talked him out of it, and I just, you know, got off of them that way. And So how long have you been restoring the car? How many years? It, it, took, take? A, it took about two years to restore two years. it. Okay. Yeah. Not super long. Did you do some of the work yourself? Did you farm no, out all the work? Or? The guy, the deal was, the guy I bought it from, I had to let him do it. Oh, okay. You want it very particular. You wanted it a certain way. Okay. Yep, yep. Well, I tell you what, he did a bang-up job. Yep. That's all, it, that was the only way he'd sell it to me if he did it. Were you happy with the result? Yeah. Oh, yes, I am. Oh, man. I tell you what, it is an eye catcher coming down the, the aisle here or going down the road. All right, so since having this car redone, what's one of your favorite memories of, with it? I guess just my, my favorite memories was just everybody looking at it as I drive it. I mean, everybody yeah. oohs and ahs over it. I bet I mean, they do. I mean, I get anything from just, wow, i just never seen one before. Okay. Or just, uh, what is it? <laughs> okay. Well, you know, I mean, it's just stunning in that black and chrome. It just yeah. really stands out. Just, right. oh, what an eye turner. I can see where it would be the cause of several accidents at one time. Yeah. Going down the road. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, are you done restoring the car? Are you, is this it? You're just going to enjoy it for yep. now? I'm done. Going to enjoy it. Okay. Until you, until you get to the next project. That's right. And then this one will just be for fun for driving. Yep. <laughs> well, Brian, thank you so much for sharing this beautiful El Camino with us. This is just a stunning car. The work you've had done on it, top notch. Uh, what an eye catcher. Thank you. Thank you. And thanks for watching.